medical scare have been threatened with stand downs. The Department of Education claims the risks from leaking light fittings are negligible and it's not prepared to tolerate the teacher's action. The latest in a growing number of schools to boycott the classroom, teachers at Windsor High today held classes outdoors. They were unanimous in their decision not to risk their health and that of their 900 pupils by staying inside. The cause of their concern, light fittings and fans, which are leaking toxic polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs. Children at this age, they shouldn't be exposed to toxic chemicals such as this, um, especially in schools where it impedes our learning processes. While teachers and pupils here at Windsor are holding classes outside to protect themselves against exposure to PCBs, Education Minister Terry Metherill says their action is unnecessary and unwarranted. Dr Metherill accuses the Teachers' Federation of conducting a scare campaign, pointing to a departmental report included, exposure to PCBs from lights and fans would have no adverse health effects. But the teachers at Windsor don't believe the report or the minister. Sydney University have been commissioned to look at the department's report and they say they are grossly underestimating the, the health problems with PCBs. The teachers at Windsor and at Grantham High in Sydney's West say they'll continue holding classes outside until all PCB fittings are removed. But they're to pay a high price. The department will, in the morning, direct the teachers to return to the classroom. If they refuse, they'll be stood down. The teachers have been instructed to ignore the stand-down orders. An angry Teachers Federation will challenge the move in the Industrial Commission, adding another chapter to their dissatisfaction with the Minister. Suspended 60 high school teachers who refuse to work in rooms that they claim are contaminated. Students today backed staff concerns that dangerous chemicals are leaking from light fittings. For the fourth day in a row, students at Grantham High Seven Hills sit down for another session of our fresco learning. Extensive this alliance was. The decision by teachers here and at Windsor High to keep teaching outside was in defiance of yesterday's Education Department order to resume normal classes. The teachers were unmoved by a Health Department report assuring them that leaking PCB chemicals from classroom lights were safe. At midday, 60 teachers were stood down at Grantham High. We will not be paying them until they're prepared to return to the classroom and to teach uh, proper lessons to students. While the teachers at Grantham High say they will continue working, some parents believe the dispute never had to reach such a stage. The Education Department, I believe, should be out here in force at the moment, or workmen of the Education Department, trying to fix the problem. Teachers believe the department should simply speed up its replacement program of all suspect lights. Why not spend the 6000 that's required for this light, for this school, have it over and done with? As well as the teachers, the Education Department is now facing some new opposition it could well do without. Students are now joining their teachers' concerns about the PCBs. Some are even going as far as to threaten their own boycott unless the classrooms are fixed. Well, these PCBs, they can cause, or oh, it's inferred that they can cause long-term damage to your heart, kidneys, lungs, and even your reproductive organs. So it's just not us that's at stake, it's our future too. They're going to have to try and enforce us to go into the classrooms, but we have said there is no way we're going in. Late today in the Industrial Commission, steps were taken to appease the teachers. A judge with a commission will inspect the schools next week. In return, teachers will decide tomorrow whether to move back into rooms that are deemed safe. Mark Burroughs, National 9 News. Thursday, March 29th, this is Brian Henderson. Good night. have again been ordered back to their classrooms. At the same time, a federal government expert has discredited the state health department report that played down the risk of PCBs in schools. It was the continuing concern that exposure to polychlorinated bifepharmacons was cancer that saw teachers and students camp out for lessons yet again. PCBs, as they're known, are found in some school ceiling fans and lights. Reflecting concern over possible leakage of the toxins, the State Industrial Commission this afternoon ordered back into classrooms to inspect all spectating report danger. As the Chief Executive of the National Occupational Health Safety Commission, Dr Ted Emmett is interested in teachers' concerns. In addition, he's a recognised expert on PCB dangers after years of study in the United States. The state government has used his work as reference material for its report, which plays down the risk of PCBs.
Dr Emmett told us that the problem with the government's report is that it was written by state health officials in a very defensive way. He said that it was compiled in a manner that tried to minimise concern about PCBs in the classroom. Where there might be a risk is where people came in direct contact with their skin, with the material that leaked. If it did happen and there was enough PCBs, if it happened enough, there could be a health risk. Of direct concern to Dr Emmett is a claim in the report that PCBs have a protective effect against known carcinogens in the general environment. I don't think that PCBs are really protective against cancer. I think that they, if anything, would have a cancer risk under certain circumstances. Dr Emmett said the Commonwealth provide an objective report into PCBs in New South Wales schools if asked for one. There's been